Hello friends, welcome to EduAccess. Today we're going to learn about materials. Before starting our lesson, let's look at the objects shown here. These are some common objects we use every day. Can you name these objects? We use a chair to sit. We drink water from a bottle. We study with a notebook. A pen is used to write. We keep books on a table. Let's take a closer look at these objects. Have you ever noticed what these objects are made of? A chair is made of wood. A bottle is made of plastic. A notebook is made of paper. A pen has plastic and metal parts. A table is made of wood. Everything around you is made of different substances. Some are natural and others are man-made. You cannot see the components that make up most of the objects. For example, you can't see the water molecules that make up your glass of water. You can only observe what the object looks like. When something is used to make an object, it is known as a material. For example, what is the material used to make the chair? Plastic is the material used to make the bottle. Paper is the material used to make the notebook. Every object is made of one or more materials. You can use this knowledge to identify the materials that make up objects. Now let's do a quick revision of what we learned. Look at the objects shown here. A chair, a bag, and a bottle. What are these objects made of? The chair is made of wood. The bag is made of cloth. The bottle is made of plastic. Remember this, any substance that is used to make an object is called a material. Here are some examples of materials. Natural materials come from plants and animals. Cotton comes from cotton plants. Leather comes from animal skins. Wood comes from trees. Synthetic materials are made by mixing natural materials. These are also called man-made materials. Plastic is made from chemicals derived from petroleum. Nylon is made from chemicals. Glass is made by melting sand and other materials. Metals such as iron, aluminum, copper, and silver are also used to make everyday objects. Materials are everywhere around us. They are used to make the houses we live in, the roads we drive on, and the clothes we wear. There are so many different materials used to make the objects we use every day. They come in a wide variety of colors, shapes, sizes, and textures. Each material has its own unique properties and characteristics. This makes each object special and useful in its own way. Did you know that there are over 100 million different types of materials? Most of these are synthetic or man-made materials. They are made by mixing different substances together. For example, plastics are made from chemicals derived from petroleum. Nylon is made from chemicals. Glass is made by melting sand and other materials. Now let's do another quick revision. What are materials? What are examples of natural materials? What are examples of man-made materials? If you want to pause the video and write down your answers, you can do so now. Materials are any substances that are used to make an object. Natural materials come from plants and animals. Man-made materials are made by mixing natural materials. Cotton, wood, leather, nylon, plastic, glass, and metals like iron, aluminum, copper, and silver are all examples of materials. Now let's play a fun game. Look at the pictures shown here. Try to match the objects with their materials. Take your time and select the correct option for each one. Well done. Let's check your answers. Do you know that different materials are used to make different objects? Some materials have certain properties that make them good for making a particular object. For example, wood is strong and flexible. It is good for making chairs and tables. Rubber is elastic. It is good for making tires. Plastic is waterproof and lightweight. It is good for making bottles. Metals like iron and steel are very strong. They are used to make bridges and construction material. The properties of materials determine their uses. Some materials have certain properties that make them good for making a particular object. For example, wood is strong and flexible. It is used to make chairs and tables. Rubber is elastic. It is used to make tires. Plastic is waterproof and lightweight. It is used to make bottles and buckets. Metals like iron and steel are very strong. They are used to make bridges and construction material. The properties of materials determine their uses. Let's take a closer look at some common materials. Wood is a natural material. It comes from trees. Wood is used to make furniture, paper, and matches. It is also used to fuel some types of stoves and fireplaces. The type of tree that wood comes from affects its properties. Hardwood is dense and durable. It comes from deciduous trees such as oak and maple. Softwood is less dense and easier to work with. It comes from coniferous trees such as pine and fir. Plastic is a man-made material. It is made from chemicals that are derived from petroleum. Plastic is very versatile. It can be molded into many shapes and sizes. It is waterproof and lightweight. That's why it's used to make bottles, buckets, toys, and containers. Different types of plastic have different properties. Some are rigid, while others are flexible. Some are transparent, while others are opaque. Metal is a natural material. It is found in the Earth's crust. 
The most common metals used to make objects are iron, aluminum, copper, and silver. Metals are used to make buildings, bridges, and tools. They are also used to make coins and jewelry. Iron is strong but can rust if exposed to air and water. Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. It is stronger than iron and does not rust easily. Aluminum is lightweight and does not rust. Copper is used for electrical wiring because it is a good conductor of electricity. Silver is a valuable metal. It is used to make jewelry and coins. Glass is a man-made material. It is made by melting sand and other materials. Glass is used to make windows, mirrors, and bottles. It is also used to make optical fibers that carry data and telephone signals. Glass is transparent and does not conduct electricity. Let's do a quick recap. What are some examples of man-made materials? What are some examples of natural materials? What determines the uses of materials? What are some examples of materials and their uses? If you want to pause the video and write down your answers, you can do so now. Some examples of man-made materials are plastic, glass, and metals. Some examples of natural materials are wood, cotton, and leather. The properties of materials determine their uses. Some examples of materials and their uses are what is used to make furniture and paper. Plastic is used to make bottles and toys. Metal is used to make bridges and tools. Glass is used to make windows and bottles. Well done. You have learned about different materials. You also learned that different materials have different properties that make them suitable for making certain objects. Let's look at some interesting facts about materials. One of the strongest materials in the world is diamond. Diamond is a form of carbon. It is very hard and has a high melting point. It is also a good electrical insulator. The strongest metal in the world is titanium. Titanium is used in the aerospace industry to make aircraft and spacecraft parts. It is also used in the medical industry to make implants. The lightest material in the world is aerogel. Aerogel is a synthetic material. It is very lightweight and has a low density. It is also a good thermal insulator. The most expensive material in the world is gold. Gold is a precious metal. It is used to make jewelry and coins. It is also used in electronics to make contacts and connectors. Materials are all around us. They are used to make the cars we drive, the clothes we wear, and the phones we use. There are many different types of materials and each one has its own unique properties and characteristics. Let's do a quick recap. What are some examples of strong materials? What are some examples of weak materials? What are some examples of lightweight materials? What are some examples of heavy materials? If you want to pause the video and write down your answers, you can do so now. Some examples of strong materials are diamond and steel. Some examples of weak materials are glass and plastic. Some examples of lightweight materials are aerogel and aluminum. Some examples of heavy materials are lead and uranium. Well done. We've covered a lot of information in this lesson. Let's quickly review what we've learned. We learned that any substance used to make an object is called a material. We also learned that there are two types of materials, natural and man-made. We learned that different materials have different properties that make them suitable for making certain objects. And we also learned that there are many different types of materials and each one has its own unique properties and characteristics. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our lesson, please do and forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you never miss out on any of our future videos. We hope you have a great day. Bye bye.